Hey, what's up dispatchers? This is your favorite freight dispatch trainer, Antoine West, back at you guys with another video. If you haven't, make sure you go to my website, antoinewest.biz, for all your latest and greatest freight dispatch training needs. So in today's video, what I wanna do, I wanna tell you guys how I personally made $100,000 my freight, first year of freight dispatching, and I wanna tell you guys how you can do the same thing. And what I wanna clear up is a common misconception that the freight dispatch market is oversaturated, right? Because no market's ever oversaturated. I could have said the same thing when I first started this business, but when someone says a market is oversaturated, that's because they have no additional value to give the market. They feel as if the market is oversaturated because they have nothing different to come up with that the market isn't already offering. Because any business owner, as soon as you offer a more valuable idea to the market, the market is no longer oversaturated for you. So what free dispatching is, for those of you who are new to the channel, Break dispatching is the process of booking loads for truck drivers, for owner operators. These are truck drivers who own their own truck equipment and own their own trucking business. So you as an independent free dispatcher, you're going to be using load boards and other various forms of communicating with brokers and shippers to book the highest paying loads for your owner operators. And you can make a lot of money in this business and the reason why is you as a freight dispatcher you're booking loads for the truck driver what makes truck drivers money loads right so you are handling one of the most top priority activities in their business and that's booking loads to be put on their truck to make them money so that's why freight dispatchers make so much money and we make a percentage of each load so every load that you book for a truck driver you make a percentage of that the typical rate is about eight percent so that's basically what freight dispatching is but to make a lot of money in freight dispatching and to make a hundred thousand dollars what you have to do from the beginning is you have to grow your brand awareness because you're going to constantly need owner operators you're going to constantly need truck drivers coming into your business so this is really about more marketing and recruiting than anything because you're going to start out as a freight dispatcher handling the daily tasks of booking loads but you want to build a company a company is a systematic organization so you want to be able to work yourself out of your company as the freight dispatcher you don't want to just be sitting around dispatching loads all day you want to get to the point where you have dispatchers working for you but if you want dispatchers working for you and then for you to be able to just to sit back and market your company what you're going to have to do you're going to have to get a lot of owner operators coming into your company and i'm going to tell you guys exactly how i did that because but for the beginning i didn't have a lot of business a lot of owner operators coming into my company i failed to create a pipeline for my business so basically a pipeline is a system that always attracts clients into your business that's why many businesses fail it doesn't matter which type of business free dispatching or whatever but the business owner fails to create a pipeline so the first thing that you do when you start this business you work on creating a pipeline so when i came into this business at first i was struggling to get clients i had no pipeline i thought i could just go out there and offer my services and owner operators start to sign up with me because i, I have a business i'm a freight dispatcher but that isn't the way it works so what really helped me to make that hundred thousand dollars i started to do things that I didn't know. I didn't know the hidden principles that I was executing on at the time. So with business and any area of success, you're actually using principles or laws against you or you're using them to your advantage, but maybe at the time you don't know that to be fact or not. So basically at first I couldn't get any clients, but when I started to get clients, this is what I did. I created an irresistible offer. So that's not something I really did on purpose right i didn't know anything about creating an irresistible offer but this is how i trained you guys now i look back hindsight is 2020 i see what i did back then to make me successful now i know that i created an irresistible offer so now when i train and mentor you guys i tell you to have an irresistible offer and i'm telling you this for a reason because so many people come into business so many people come into break dispatching with your offer it's the same as everyone else when I first started, the only offer in free dispatching was to put your loads, find you the highest paying loads, you know, 24 7 dispatch service. But what I did is I added all types of additional value. I started 
to send in paperwork to factoring companies. I started to find drivers. If my owner operator had a second or third truck, I would find and hire drivers for those trucks. I started to do anything that I could do as a freight dispatcher for my own operators. And the big thing that made me successful is video marketing, video content. Any business that you have, you need to be on video these days. As more video you're on, you're growing no like trust within that industry and more people's eyes are are getting on you so if you want to make so if you want to make money and free dispatch and what you would need to do is set up social media accounts and you need to get more eyes on you and you need to have an irresistible offer i told you guys a couple weeks ago an example of an irresistible offer now that's higher than the offer that i put out years ago right because that offer has got stale what my irresistible offer all the additional forms of value that i added to owner operators that's what the market is now that's what everybody's doing so if you want to be successful you have to come up with another irresistible offer you know you can always come up with irresistible offers you don't have to do what everyone else is doing in the freight dispatch industry you want to come up with the irresistible offer you would need to come up with something like a guarantee even when i first started i was doing guarantees you should guarantee your own operators I'll bring you in $8,000 in revenue weekly or you don't pay me any dispatch fees. But of course, that would be a conditional guarantee. If that owner operator's truck broke down for three days out of the week, I can't bring him or her in the same amount of revenue, right? But that owner operator is on some home time for a good portion of the week, I can't bring in that owner operator same amount of revenue, right? So that guarantee would be a conditional guarantee, but I realized there's not that many freight dispatch companies offering guarantees. So what I would do is just make it a conditional guarantee and craft it right. Like make it work for you and your owner operator. You can work with third five public accountants. You can work with bookkeepers who specialize in the trucking industry and you can offer free bookkeeping consultations for your new owner operator. You can offer so much. You don't have to be a bookkeeper yourself. Just go out and find one and network with that bookkeeper. So you wanna offer more value to your owner operators than what's already on the market. You wanna get on social media. You wanna talk about this irresistible offer and that will start getting people followed over to your website. And that's where you put a link to your digital dispatch agreement for people to sign up with your company. You start running paid ads for the people who visited your website to start retargeting them. It's called retargeting ads with more videos to give them more information more value to interest them more in your company and then you can also run lookalike audiences for those people that you funneled over to your website and that visit your website social media can find more people with the same interests you can find more people who are also owner operators looking for truck drivers so this is how i made over a hundred thousand dollars my first year of business because i started putting all these features together. I started to have an irresistible offer that funneled people over to my website. And many of those people signed up. But sometimes customers aren't gonna sign up with your business from the first time about hearing break. So that's how you're gonna start making cash flow quickly. So have that irresistible offer, learn social media marketing, know how to make videos on social media, uh, funneling people to your website, and make sure you have a link have a CTA, a call to action for people to sign up on your website. But if you guys need any further training on this, please make sure you visit my website by clicking the link below, AntoineWest.biz.